Um, my name is Beverly and I work as a parrot at the elementary school and um, Brooke Stevens is from Wild Country 99 and they had a promotion for Wild About Reading and um, so I signed up the second grade class and we were chosen for her to come and read to our second graders in um, Painesville Elementary. My bad. Rewind. <laughs> okay, okay, they called. She went down the stairs and there she saw the most beautiful castle and the most beautiful knights and the most beautiful king she'd ever seen. They spent a long time admiring the castle. They took turns sitting in it, they stuck their heads through its windows, they opened and closed its doors, they even lowered its drawbridge over and over. Wow. Look at Mudge. <laughs> oh, So you probably don't hear me very often because while you guys are in school, that's when I'm on the air. So you might not get to hear me very often. But you probably would hear me in commercials and things like that. Do you have a question? What's your name? I don't know. Oh, does she? I bet your money on it. She does then. Yeah. If you're able to listen between 9 and 2, you'll have a chance to hear me. But a lot of times you guys are in school and you're doing things like learning. So you don't get a chance to hear me. What's your name, dear? What? What's your favorite song? My favorite song? Woo! That's a really hard question. Um, I have a lot of favorites, and there's also another song right now that um, is by a guy named David Neal, and that's called Whatever She's Got. He actually played Firefest last year, so he's a really cool dude. Really cool dude. What's your name? Jasmine. Jasmine, what's your question? Do you ever do it on the weekends? Do I ever work on the weekends? <coughs> All the time. Uh, you know how like sometimes our mom and dads go to work from in the morning until dinner time and then they're home yeah. and then they don't work weekends and then some of us have moms and dads who all of a sudden have to go to work late at night or like yeah. for example if they're a doctor or a fireman or they have a job that requires them to work other hours we're a lot like that too like this friday for example miss amy fox is going to be doing a live broadcast from benton station on friday so she'll be giving away weekend tickets but that's from 9 p.m to midnight on friday it's pretty late so Saturdays and Sundays, depending on what's going on, sometimes we work, sometimes we don't. This weekend, I'm going home to see my mom, so I won't be working this weekend, I hope. Fingers crossed. So I'm going to go home and let her do my laundry, and I get to eat her cooking. Yes! It's going to be great. I don't have to be a mom my, myself for like three days. So, what's your name, dear? Um, Joe. Joe! How many songs do you have on Wild Country? On Wild Country? Yeah. That's a very good question. Obviously, there are thousands and thousands of country songs, just country alone. But on Wild Country 99, we like to play the hottest and the newest country. So if it's most popular and it's and it's newer, we play it on Wild Country. And I'm actually the music director, so I'm in charge of all the music for Wild Country. And right now in our library, we have approximately 450 songs. So there's probably more songs on your iPod, right? Yeah. But the difference is with Wild Country 99, those 450 songs change all the time. So there might be a couple songs like... Garth Brooks, Friends in Low Places, that'll always be there because it's such a big, huge song. And then there's going to be songs like Scotty McCreary, See You Tonight, that you'll hear when it's popular, but it might you might not hear it in a couple weeks because it's not the most popular. It isn't the one that people want to hear the most. So we have, an, it's like a big iPod, but we're always changing what we put on it. So, but about 450 songs we're playing at any given point in time. 450? Yeah. Um, What's your name, dear? JT. JT. Well, hello, JT. What's your question? I'm like... If, if you're like not doing your job and it's not like and you get a call, like you have to work, um, what do you like do there? Like when you, it's night when you have to work. Oh, what do I do at the radio station when I do have to work? Uh, we do a lot of different things. 
Um, remember we talked about it being kind of like an iPod playlist? You know how you put your music on your computer now? Yeah. That's the way Wild Country works. It used to be way back in the old days where you'd have to have a CD or a tape or you know, reel to reel. Yikes. I remember those days. Um, but now we have all of our music like one big iPod playlist. And so when we're in the studio, we actually have the computer in front of us. We have another computer that records you. Like if you were to call in and request a song, we can record you. So that way you can hear yourself requesting a song. It's pretty cool. We do that also when we give away prizes. We talk about the weather and important news options that are happening. Sometimes when there's breaking news, really important stuff happening, we'll talk about that. Right now, one of the biggest topics that everyone's talking about is the Olympics. Have you guys watched the Olympics at all? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yep. We're keeping an eye on Team yeah. USA and how many medals we have. We're also keeping an eye on which of our country stars are coming to town. Like, for example, next week, you can win Luke Bryan tickets. We take you to the show. It's pretty cool stuff. So we do a lot of stuff, but the really important stuff and the reason that I got into radio is because sometimes we do things that really do help other people. Like when there's bad weather in the summertime, do you ever turn into the radio? to hear what's going on, so you Not know what's really. happening. Yep, so while you guys are tuning in, we're back at the station and we're working with the National Weather Service, who's the big weather guys, and uh, making sure that you know what's happening so you and your family can stay safe. And that's one of the biggest reasons, you know, that we do what we do. It's fun to play your favorite songs, but it's also nice to know that you get to help people. It's the same reason people become a doctor or become a firefighter or a policeman, is that they know they like their job, but they also get to help other people. Like teachers even, they get to help you every single day. Seriously. Good idea. Pretty cool. My mom makes me own, when we're in the car, she makes me only uh, listen to Wild Country Night. That's because your mom is the smartest lady ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Uh, yep, you. 18. Oh, okay. uh, You're eight, right? How do you get everything recording on the computer that you record? Very good question. She asked, how do we get our music onto the computer? Does anyone here have an iPad or an iPhone or an iPod? You know how you go through that program called iTunes yeah. to put your music on? Well, we don't have iTunes. We have a different uh, program, actually, that's called Scott Studios. And it is made specifically, the, the computer programmer specifically made it so that we could use it for our radio station. And so that's what we do. It's just like you put something on your iPod with iTunes. We put music on our computer with our program, which is called Scott Studios. So usually we take the CD. We're not lucky enough. We don't get to buy it on iTunes. We actually have to take that actual CD and we take it off the CD and we put it into our system. My last name is Stevens. I know, right? It's spelled funny though. Brooke has no E and Stevens has a PH. So everyone always calls it with an E and then a V, and that's wrong. Is there a Brooke in here? What's your name? Zachary. What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Ooh. My favorite food. That's a tough one. I'm a foodie. I like food in general. Um, I would have to say, ever since I had my first son, <coughs> tacos. Like, crazy. Do you usually work at night? Yeah. Um, sometimes. Um, usually for my day, um, I go to work by 8.30, 8.45 in the morning, and I'm on air at the Wild Country 99 Studios from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Then after that, I schedule all the music for the next day on Wild Country 99 and create the playlist. Um, I'll, I'll uh, make commercials and things like that and handle like imaging and stuff on the station. And then um, sometimes we play football in the hallways, send a couple of emails, scare someone from around the corner. I did that yesterday to Derek Lee on KCL Day. It was really funny. Um, we have a lot of fun at Wild Country. So as much as we have a lot of really important stuff to do, we do have a lot of fun too. And then I'm usually home uh, by around, I go pick up my son from daycare at about 5, 5.30. So eight to fiver, not too bad. Unless it's a super busy season like summertime when it's country music festivals and stuff. How do you scare people? How do I scare people? Well, okay. He was coming out of his studio because he was done with his air shift and I just kind of waited. And then as he walked up the road, I went, yo! And he went, wah! And it was kind of funny. But I try not to do it very often because it's not very nice because I don't like when people do it to me. But he likes to pick on me, so I had to play our favorite songs all day. So. What's your name, dear? What's that? Key. Kitty. 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 Oh, well, nice to meet you. What's your question? Um, what is your favorite season? <laughs> My favorite season? Hands down, fall. I love fall because hockey starts.
football is going on, the trees are beautiful, it's not too hot and it's not too cold, and everybody starts baking. That's pretty much my favorite hands down season is fall. I like February. Like February? Yes. When I'm not there, um, like next week I'm going to a conference in Nashville and so I won't be there, so Jay Barrett is going to be sitting in doing my show. Right now is a little different because I'm only going to be gone for about an hour, hour and a half. I pre-recorded my show. So if you were listening right now, you'd still hear me. I'm still on the air. Weird, right? So I just recorded my voice, and it's going to play inside the playlist. So isn't that crazy, right? Yeah, cool. I know. But I still get to play hooky and come hang out with you guys, so it's all good. You have to be to um, start the job. Very good question. I thought he was going to ask me how old I was. Um, <laughs> You're smarter than that. <laughs> no. Um, you know, I started when I was 17. I was a junior in high school. And I was actually really big. I played soccer and I played basketball. Did I do anything? I don't remember if I played any other sports. I did that when I was really young. But I got into theater when I really liked it. And I sang in choir. And when I was in theater, I was an alto, so I never really got the lead roles. So what I did was I decided what part of theater could I be a part of? If I couldn't make it into the play on stage, how could I still be a part of it? Do you ever notice how sometimes there's a lot of different ways you can be involved in a project? Well, that's exactly what I did, and I started to do the sound part of, of theater in high school. So I was the one who took care of the microphones and played the background music and did all of that, and I really loved it. So when our local radio station had an opening, I was like, I want to go try that. And for my first two years, I didn't even talk on the air. All I did was the technical stuff with computers. So, like, does anyone ever listen to Twins Baseball or the Minnesota Wild Hockey on the radio ever? There's always somebody back at that station who's helping to put that on the air. So when the guys are doing the play-by-play -play at the actual sports facility, like if they're at the XL for the Minnesota Wild, they broadcast that out. And so that station you're listening to has someone in the studio who's making sure it's turned up and making sure those commercials play. That's what I did for like two years when I was in high school. And when I graduated, I got the courage up to go across the street to the big FM station and I applied there and I got my first on-air job and it was very nerve-wracking and I was very nervous and I didn't do everything perfectly I made a lot of mistakes but we learned from them and that's how you learn in, in radio you can go to school for radio but I think a lot of it is your personality and how much you want to learn and how excited you are about it and so you learn a lot about your job in radio on the job when I went to college I didn't go to school for radio I went to school for computer science so I can program a computer for you, but I talk on the radio for five hours a day instead. So. 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, that's pretty awesome when you can have two teams to cheer for for winning, isn't it? And I even saw one of the um, boys on the boys. Emily, hold your question. How do you know if um, if when you sing a song a new song and nobody else has played it? Well, um, really good example. Miranda Lambert just came out with a brand new song that's called Automatic, and our record label sent it to us last Wednesday. Everyone was so excited because we knew it was coming out. Came on at two o'clock on the dot on Wednesday, and so. You know, we don't usually wait to hear if another radio station plays it. If it's a good song, we play it. And a lot of times, people like you guys, if you have a favorite artist and you've already heard a song, but they're not playing it on the radio yet, a lot of times you guys will call and say, hey, have you heard this one from so-and-so? Can you play it? And I'll be like, oh, I haven't heard that yet, and we don't have it yet. And then all of a sudden, when it comes out, I'll go, you know what? She called and asked for that song the other day. It must be a pretty good song. So we listen to when you guys call and request songs, we listen to you guys. And that lets us know what you guys want to hear. Because it's not just what we want to hear, right? It's what everyone wants to hear. Which can be kind of tough at times. What?